This video will show you how to create a voiceover PowerPoint directly from PowerPoint, export it as a video file, which then you can upload to Canvas for students to watch at a time of their convenience. If you download and install the newest Office 365, which is available to staff, students, and faculty at Dearborn, you will have this option within PowerPoint. In the toolbar, you'll be able to go to the slideshow and record a slideshow. There you can record from current slide or from the beginning. If you already have recorded it before, in this case you can see here I have a, and then you'll, a play icon. You can delete that, for example, and re-record it, and you can do that per slide or record the whole PowerPoint again. You can clear all timings, clear narration. In this case, we're going to record from the beginning. In Slideshow, you will be able to then review your annotations if you have some. Before you start recording, you will be able to select which camera and microphone you want to use. You'll also be able to, if you want to, activate your video camera. In some cases, that will be something you want to do, and in some cases, it's fine without it. Uh, you can also disable the picture-in-picture -picture there, and it's still recorded. In this case, I'm going to turn off the camera. You can also annotate in the slide, for example, point out different things for students. It's useful with a mouse, uh, but it's much easier to use with a digitizer or a tablet device such as a Surface Pro or a Surface Book uh, or any other one that has a touchscreen. In addition, you could also plug in via USB or Bluetooth a Wacom tablet or another tablet that allows you to, to draw on the side of the computer. So you could do either of those uh, and then you could make much more uh, delicate or careful markings. To start recording, hit record. And then you will notice that the time starts going. So right now there's three seconds in this slide and also that time as a whole. When we go to the next slide, you notice that this timer restarts, but then the other timer continues. So it shows the total time that we have recorded in this slideshow. That helps you keep track of how you're doing. And if you're maybe taking too long in one slide or another, remember that the recording is safe per slide. So you can decide then to re-record an individual slide if you want to. You will go then to your presentation, keeping track again of the time and slides making annotations and points when you want to. If you want to pause, you can select pause. You can also use the I letter to pause. Stop also has the S. So you can stop and continue whenever it's convenient. Um, redo a whole slide if you have to. There's not a good way to edit, but you can re-record the slide in PowerPoint. You could edit in a different software once you have the video finished. Great, once we're finished, we'll click, and now you can see there's audio in each different slide. And again, you could re-record the slide before exporting as a video. If that is something you didn't like how, how it played out, you could hit play Excellent. and listen to your recording per slide till you're content and, and you like the quality of them. And if you do, uh, we can move to the next step. When you're done recording, you can save the file with the recordings, and they'll be within the PowerPoint, or export it as a video. To do that, click Export, and then create a video. Select the quality of the video. I'm going to lower it to 720p, which is good in most cases. Select to use recordings or narrations. You can also re-record or preview them. And then create a video. It will then ask you where you want to save that video. I saved it earlier today, so I won't be saving it this time. And that's pretty much the steps. After that, you could play the video. In this case, the PowerPoint is and this is an example of, of how the video would look. And you can then upload it, and students can then watch it at the time of their convenience. Thanks.